Hi, welcome back to Simplified Mechanic. My name's Haley. In today's video, today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the new tools we got. Also, we're gonna show you our mobile mechanic tool setup. And if you stick around and watch the whole video, we'll go ahead and do a little tool giveaway today. So what's up guys? What we got going on today is I'm gonna show you all these tools like I just said. But we got to get our mobile mechanic set up, man. Because right now, we got half the shit in the truck. We got half the shit in the garage. We got stuff in the Honda because that's what we used to use. And we don't have the truck set up because it's never been ready to. it have been problems with it. And everybody knows we still got to have the transmission fixed and some other things. I've already bit the bullet. I'm going to attack that. I'm keeping the truck. And I'm just going to replace everything that I need to. But I got to get all these tools squared away, man. I can't be having shit scattered everywhere. I literally can't find anything. With you guys sending me some new tools, so now I got new stuff. I need to get that shit put away. Like I said, we're going to be giving you a code reader, too. There's a couple of them. We're going to go through, and I'll look at them, figure out which one we're going to give away. 24 hours after I upload this video is when I'll be picking the winner. But we'll talk about that later. I picked this up a while ago, and I never used it. It needs washed off and cleaned up. It'll work good for us in our truck. There's plenty of room in there that we can put our tools and tool bags. I mean, that thing's, what, two and a half feet? Plenty of room. And if you look, I'll wash it off, but it has like a ruler built on top here. It has a little key and it has this handle right here. We can pick it up and roll it. So we need to clean that bitch off first. Because to be honest, having a truck is not a good mobile mechanic vehicle. Now I need it because I deliver diesel which is right here, you can see this tank, it's a 60 gallon tank, so I had to have a truck. But if you're just gonna be a mobile mechanic, I do not recommend a truck, cause it's hard to get up and down out of this vehicle, and there's actually not a lot of room to store all your tools. And they're gonna be exposed to the weather. But it's what we got, so we gotta make it work. All right, first we're gonna go through some of these new tools we got. Now, uh, all the boxes I got, I've mentioned before, the three Marines that sent me stuff. Now it's all kind of mixed together, so I can't really say who got me this, who got me that. But I know most of this is from Marine Davis. I showed you guys a little bit last video, but I don't think it was this box. You gotta think, all this stuff he sent from uh, clear across the U.S. Let's check some of this stuff out. I mean, some of this stuff is really nice. Like I've looked some of this up. I guess it's a $100, $150 setup right here. Look at them wrenches, y'all. They got that slant to them. I mean, you can't tell me that's not fucking badass. We got to redo our mobile mechanic setup. So that's what we're going to be going over the next two days. This video might have to be put into two pieces because it's going to be so long. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at these wrenches right here from Gear Wrench with the ratcheting and flex head like that. These things are very expensive and these are long. Look, this size of my hand, my hand's eight inches. And he's sent me, I don't know, maybe seven or eight. Look, I think it's 10 millimeter all the way up. 14, look, yeah, 13 from 10 all the way up. Let's see, what's the biggest one, 19. The set of them, I would imagine two, $250 right there. Let's go ahead and see this. I haven't actually looked at all of it. So some of this stuff, I don't even know. Oh, lug nuts, yeah, or lug nut sockets. Has all the sets. That's nice. Hell yeah. There's a lot of this stuff I didn't have. I don't take it. This is an O2 sensor kit. <laughs> and most of this stuff is in like great shape. I mean, look at this. It also has a little fucking book with it. Oh yeah, look at that. That has every single one of them. And that's good because like before this, I only had this one right here. So that's awesome, man. Let's see, and the last little thing he's got in this box, he sent me a bunch of sockets. I mean, that was a complete set. Oh, he's got some more. Oh, <laughs> it's nifty how he did it. Look, he put a zip tie through it to keep it organized. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I would say between all this stuff right here, we're looking at $600, something like that. You know what these are gonna come in handy for? Especially when I do the suspension on the front end of this vehicle. You know, these big bolts I need some leverage with. You know, a normal little 19 millimeter couldn't knock it off. With this one, especially where a ratcheting one, and it's a flex head, you can't put a price on that. I mean, you can, but to me, it's priceless. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to this one. Boy, this is like Christmas. Let's start off here. We got us a well, nice three pound hammer. Got us another one right off the top here. They even put it on there, rounded bolt extractor. See how they're shaped like that? That's the way that you can bite on rounded off bolts. Cause if you've ever rounded off a bolt, you know what I mean? That can ruin your day. So that's awesome right there. Bunch of crow's feet too. 
Actually, I don't have many of these, and these can come in very handy. I mean, I know right off the bat I can use that off the serpentine belts. What we got here is got the socket set. Starts out at four millimeter, goes all the way up to uh, 15. And this is actually, let's see. Yeah, these are quarter inch, which is awesome. This is Mr. Davis's box again. He sent three. Oh, look at his little magnet tool. I got a couple of these. These things are your best friend. I always wear one of these, man. My daughter keeps stealing them. And as you can tell, the rest here are different size screwdrivers. Nice screwdrivers too. Not just regular, but with the magnetic tip makes it a lot easier. So you can see just out of that box right there, there's really no junk. He sent things that are useful and that I need. Also, he's got me a driver sitting here. Look at that. He sent three different batteries and three different chargers here. Look at that. Cordless driver. I mean, you can't beat that at all. I mean, this shit is awesome, guys. I'm very blessed to have you guys as my subscribers to send stuff out like this. This is a lot of money, man. I mean, by the time we're done today, just with the new stuff you guys sent out, it's going to be well over a thousand bucks. Like, I'm very blessed, man. So thank you guys, everybody. And even the ones that haven't sent anything, just supporting me by liking this video and watching all my videos and just being by me, listening to me bitch on my bad days. It does mean a lot to me. Now this box right here, this is the one that it was inside my truck. I went through it, but I went real fast. So let's go over it again. So right here, this is awesome. Right off the rip. Obviously it's an impact set. That starts out at seven millimeter goes all the way up to 19. I mean anybody that owns impact you know how much them things are. Let's see now this is mine my little 3 8 inch DeWalt. It's like my little go-to man because it can fit a lot of places. Now look at this these are the cordless ones he sent me right here. Remember I told you he sent me three chargers and three batteries. Look at that bitch in there. Oh there it goes. Let's see. Oh man that's so awesome look at that. And now here's another one, but this one has the extended head. Has the battery light right there. And that's enough torch to get it off. Man, that's going to save my arm a lot because once you start ratcheting a lot, man, my hand will be swelled up the next day. I showed you guys this little ratchet last time. This is what I used last video. This thing's awesome. It's a gear wrench. has the flex head, but you can lock the flex head in place too. And then it won't move when you... This thing is smooth. I mean, listen to that. I think it's awesome. I say awesome a hundred times. Now this is the one I told you I found. I was driving down the road and it was by a construction site. And I know because there was a truck in front of me. I didn't see it on it, but I seen him turn into the construction site. And I looked in the middle of the road and here this was laying. It's a driver as well, but it has the extension right here. And listen to the power to this one. That's the 20 volt max. This thing's awesome. <laughs> I mean, imagine finding that. I wasn't about to pull in there and be like, hey guys, you lose these? Nope, I sure wasn't. All right, we got a lot of these vice grips. They come in very handy. Here we go. We got the impact lug nuts here. We had a different one earlier. It all comes with an extension too. It's, uh, it's flipped. So you got 7, 8, and 21 on one side. And then you flip it around. All this stuff is, <laughs> this is Christmas to me, guys. I know some of you guys watching Jealous right now. Look at all this shit this motherfucker got. Fucking bum. That's right. You can call me a bum all you want. But I'm picking up Milwaukee shit given to me. So fuck off. As you can tell, everything that's been sent. Look, another Milwaukee. I mean, this shit costs money. And all this shit looks brand new. Or barely used. I mean, look at that. The whole set of vice grips. The small ones, the big ones. If you guys already seen me look through this last video, go ahead and just fast forward a little bit. All right, what we got here? 12 piece V groove combination wrench set. Look at this. Oh man, that is nice. I don't know how you pronounce that. Sonex or Sonex? For some reason, I don't know how to pronounce any of the tools. I know how to use them. That's all that matters. And I like how it comes in this. That way I don't lose it. Yeah, that's slick. More ratcheting wrenches. And a lot of you guys are mechanics or work on your own vehicle, so I don't have to explain how awesome them are. Mr. Davis, Semper Fi, brother, because everything you've sent is top notch. I mean, look at this. Brands, I guess it's Cobalt. Look at that. More ratcheting wrenches, cobalt. Here's a whole bunch more right here, gear wrench. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at this. It's a little quarter inch flex head, bro. Damn, I'm in there. What's that, 72 tooth maybe, something like that? 
No, what this is. Okay, you got wheel stud pilot pins. And what this is for is anytime you're working on a foreign car, say like a BMW, and you take the tire off, it's hard to get back on because they don't have wheel studs sticking out. So what you got to do is you take these, spin these into the hub, and they'll stick out like this, making wheel studs. So you can put the tire back on, put the lug nuts in, then take these out. Probably won't use this a lot, but when I do, I'll be very thankful. And then we got the last few things here. This is from Big John. Once again, another Marine. So he sent me to push the piston in on the brake calipers. I was doing it wrong the other day. If you guys seen the video, I was trying to put it in this way. I think they're made to go in like this. As you squeeze the handle against the brake caliper piston and pushes it in. So you can reset it. So when you put your new brake pads on, everything will fit. Now this is for the single piston, but you've seen some that have two pistons, right? And that's what this setup's for. Andy sent these big, nice long ratchets. Where are they? This one's a three eight inch. I mean, I think it's probably two and a half feet long. This one's a half inch. This one's three feet probably. Look at that. And I don't have any big ones like that, so this, this is, is gonna come in real handy. The jack we use is right here, a three ton low profile jack called Black Jack. Every single tool that you see here, I'm gonna have them linked in my video descriptions. So if you want any of these tools that you see, go to the video description, go down to the one you want, click on the link, it'll take you straight to Amazon where it's at and give you a good discount so you can get these tools at a good price. Plus, click on them links and buy something, I get like two or 3% of everything that you buy. And you gotta remember, I don't even know everything I got so far. If it takes me a minute to describe what I got, it's because I'm just seeing it for the first time. But we need to go through all this stuff first, show you guys that, and then get off the tool bags, dump some of the old shit, put the new stuff in and just get it set up because right now I have just a little bit everywhere right and uh, if i get called out to a job i get out there i might not have all my stuff with me because right now i'm so disorganized i mean look we got some sockets like this that's from the setup we have right now that come out of the car toolbox right here has a little bit of stuff in it we'll go through but we got to take all that out and organize it then we come over to the garage which was used for storage just till about three weeks ago and you can see we're clearing it out this thing was packed full to the brim with actually somebody else's shit. We finally got it out though. But as you can tell, we got code readers laying around. Look, we got the Zurich, we got the FX2000. We've got a review on that one. We still got to do a review on the Diag 2. And then we have this one. You plug it in and then you download the app. So whatever one you get, that's a good setup. I'll just tell you right now, for you to be entered to get one of these, you have to like this video and you have to subscribe to the channel and you have to leave a comment because when I pick the winner, I'm going to be getting in touch with you through the comment you left on this video. You have to leave a comment. I don't care what it is, but if you don't leave a comment, then I can't pick you. So remember, this is all part one of the video. By the end of the video of part two, we will have this truck ready to go with the tools. And then part three will be the transmission. Before we close this video out, we got to go ahead and grab one of these tools to give away. It's going to be one of the ones that uh, like plug in like normal, but then you go ahead and download the mobile app and you can use your app to read off it, okay? So the one we're going to be giving away is the Ansel BD310. Let's go ahead and put it right here so you guys can see it. Let's go ahead and open this real quick for you. The paperwork that goes with it. Here we go. We got the charger. This is right here. Nice little handheld one. You plug it into your port just like that. And then you can use this to go up, down, this is enter, and go back. Has everything you need. I mean, look, read and clear codes, reads live data, views freeze frame. You can display live O2 sensor, your IM readiness, your onboard monitor test, trip analysis, performance testing, diagnostic report. You can do all that once you download the app. But just without the app, just this by itself, you can still read and clear codes and read live data. So say you don't even want to download the app, you just want to plug this in and read your check engine light, you can still read it, find out what's wrong with it, and you can clear it all. So that's a pretty good little setup right there. All right, if you really want to support the channel, subscribe. And if you have any money left over and you want to help get this piece of shit truck working, remember, we got to get the transmission. You can send it at Cash App and PayPal. Also, the tools. If you guys want to send some tools, look at the description in the video and you'll see the address that you need to send it to. And one of you sitting there, somebody's going to be rich. Send $10,000 so we can sell this truck. Take your $10,000 and get us a brand new vehicle. So I'm waiting on that $10,000 for Veterans Day, right? I'm a veteran, got blown up. Somebody sent $10,000. I'm waiting on it. And if you don't, that's okay. I still love you. And like I always say, Simplify till next time.